Running with the theme I've gone with this season, I decided to run more bug Pokemon. So I'm running Glissopod. After running Araquanid, I was like, you know what? Maybe Glissopod could actually be all right. I mean, has Shadow Claw, which can do neutral damage against, I think, pretty much everything in this format. And then, yeah, it can it can help with Polyrath a bit. I mean, even though it can't do a lot of damage back, it's kind of similar to Araquanid, where it can kind of just tank moves against Mud Boys and the Polyrath matchups. And Excalibur, um, I made a video a couple of years ago when this format first was released and I ran Escavalier and I th it was pretty good back then and I think it still has some relatively good play especially with all the Lucario running around so this team I'm facing is really interesting the Bruxious so I knew I needed to shield at least once and then I had to let one of them go because I needed to, I wanted to expel all of the energy from Bruxious here that way I didn't have any defense drops on my Excadrill and fortunately this worked out pretty good and they did try to catch a move here on their on yeah, they were trying to catch the drill run. I don't know if it would have really mattered that much, even if they did catch it, since I did have a shield steal, but yeah, I pretty much just farm and then I throw a drill run into their extra drill, and that is game one. So here's a situation where the lead's pretty good for Glissopod. I mean, Iraq one is nice because you have a lot of different options on how you could run it. In my video, I was running Bug Bite for the fast attack and I was running Bubble Beam, but you could run Infestation and Water Pulse. But yeah, as you can see here, this is actually a Power Up Punch variant. So maybe not too scary. I think it was Icy Wind and Power Up Punch is crazy. Interesting, I guess. It's a very unique blend of moves in this format. And yeah, I'm just spamming the X Scissors. I just figured, you know, at this point, I have both shields. This is looking pretty nice. And even if they throw an Icy Wind here or a Power Punch, it doesn't really matter. I can take either move. So I'm not, I'm still not gonna shield. I'm just gonna try to bank on the fact that maybe Excadrill with two shields is gonna be all I need here to finish up this match. So yeah, I switch in my Excadrill to kind of like shield and farm down to gain that extra energy. They do have Lucario, so that works out great for me. I think they ended up just uh, like force quitting their game because I'm getting that little bit of lag that seems to be notorious with that in general. So that is a GG. I think they just quit once they realized their Lucario is going to get pulverized by a draw run. And I mean, I have both shields still at the end of the game fight. So next battle, Lu Ludicolo lead. And while the Razor Leaf can hurt on Glissopod here. At least the damage is gonna hurt a lot from X Scissor. They don't even shield, which I thought was kinda interesting. I, I was gonna switch here regardless into extra drill, and I guess they didn't really have a game plan, so they just quit. So, GG. Next battle, Lantern lead, and I think it was, that may have been a water gun variant. In comes Polyrath, I'm gonna throw a drill run, and yeah. I think initially I switched because I thought, I think it might be Water Gun Lantern if I'm not mistaken. I think initially I switched because I was thinking it was Spark, excuse me, which honestly Glissopod can still kind of stay in there, but yeah, let me, let me verify this. I don't, let me just look. I can't tell. <laughs> it's like moving way too fast. Let me see. Actually, that might be Spark. Maybe I'm thinking about a different battle, but um, regardless, the way I play this is how I would play it. I mean, if it was Water Gun, it's not as scary to Galissapod, that's for sure. But yeah, they have this Skarmory here in the back, and I have two shields, so I'm in a really nice situation. And I think I actually make a... This might be the one match I make a misplay. Yeah, here, I was gonna... I should have just thrown Rock Slide. Uh, actually, no, maybe this was the play. It doesn't really matter. I should have thrown rock slides. I was trying to under tap to try to get that energy, but then I realized like, wait, actually, did I just throw the match now? And yeah, of course I did because they have energy on lantern. So yeah, that was actually the one thing I kind of messed up. Wait, actually, 
No, no, no. I, I think it's not I lost. I think it ends up being a tie because I can still just barely kill the Skarmory. So yeah, it's a tie, but I should have been able to manage that when I kind of dropped the ball throughout the fight there. Yeah, you know, it is what it is. So in this next battle, as Cavalier, and I haven't really seen them running Aerial Ace so far, at least the ones I've encountered. And this one actually has Acid Spray, so maybe not, maybe not worth shielding at all, if, if I'm being honest. And I make a switch, able to catch, I think, the Drill Run, which is okay. I mean, it's not ideal to be taking this much damage this early in the fight. But at the same time, I do have Shield Advantage, and now I have Mon Advantage, and I technically have, or like kind of equated in damage. But the thing is, because I have the double shields, I have a better situation with Glissopod to come in on Polyrath here. And I can only really hope that they don't want to preserve this Polyrath, thinking that maybe they don't need it. And fortunately for me, they end up having Tentacruel in the back line, which is a great situation for Excadrill, and they recognize that, so they decide to quit the match. So 4-1's set, but technically not. It's like a 4-0, not a 4-1, because I didn't lose that match. It was a tie, so it didn't affect me negatively, which is kind of nice. So my next set here. This is a set where I started to kind of see some of the team building flaws that I have on my team. I mean, not every opponent that I face is going to be running certain Pokemon, but okay, this t this team isn't the threat, but I do recall I put this set, I only did, I think, three sets last night, and this one was a nice one to show that there's definitely some teams that are meta that are running around that bug water type Pokemon really aren't gonna be able to, to do too much to, unfortunately. But, um... Yeah, this scenario is so good for me. I mean, I have such a great situation with all my shields and especially what I have aligned. But this is a good situation for me initially, but then I kind of panic and I switch in Excadrill, which may not have may not have been the right call. It's a tough like this is a really tough decision because I technically could try to play out this matchup a little bit with Glissopod and try to call Weather Balls. But yeah, the pacing of Excadrill into Pelipper, especially being behind energy, I feel like it's a little dicey. I mean, maybe I should have at least just played the double shield scenario. That may have been the better play instead of just letting it go and then leaving this entire fight up to Galissapod to try to deal with Pelipper. Like, as you can see, I'm trying to do all types of tricks at this point. I mean, I'm switching in Excadrill. I mean, excuse me, Excavalier, excuse me, to try to farm down on Pelipper. Like, this is just insanity. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much GG. I I'd go for the Mega Horn, and they're not going to shield, but it's still not enough to preserve me. And yeah, I mean, I do, I do a lot of damage, but still, I think that initial slow delayed switch was kind of tough. I mean, to be fair, when I look at this, Excadrill aside facing the Pelipper had no usage on my team. So in X in X Cavalier also honestly didn't have great play in that match. So my whole team kind of just struggled there. Glissopod had some great matchups, but it just wasn't aligned with either of the Pokemon it could actually do some work against. So good game. Um, get the Jellicent here, and yeah, so I'm going to throw the Mega Horn in hopes to get the shield. That was my goal, or at least remove Jellicent. I think it technically lives barely there, depending on IVs. I think it does live. So nice I got the shield at least, and I decided I'm just going to take a Shadow Ball to the face, thinking maybe there's some play for Excadrill with two shields in the back line. So I'm going to insta-swap knowing that the Skarmory is going to come in and I'm going to commit one shield and just try to generate a bit of energy. They go for Sky Attack, Great Bait, and in comes Ferrothorn. So this could be problematic. I go for the first drill run, but this seemed way too early, so I was assuming it was Acid Spray. 
I make a great call not to shield. And this is actually going to be a pivotal moment here in the battle. Pretty much them trying to bait me and not counting at least to the power whip. Wow, that was actually kind of insane. I made that call. I mean, to be fair, like if you're counting, it's not magic. <laughs> so yeah, I got pretty fortunate to pull that off because I'm just barely able to navigate the rest of the match. You know, Skarmory barely lives the rock slide, but I can, you know, finish it up there with the mud slap. Or mud shot. I don't even remember what attack it has. I think it's mud slap. Maybe it is mud shot. Actually, no, I think it is mud shot on Excadrill. That would make sense. It generates energy pretty fast. So, um, again, this is another situation where my team is going to kind of struggle. Pelipper alone, Pelipper Mantine, I feel, I feel that both the teams I've made so far aren't the best contenders. I mean, maybe there's Pokemon on each team that can put up a fight. I mean, Excadrill with even energy could be a threat. Um, my Lucario on the previous team, if it actually had Thunder Punch, could have maybe been, trade, been able to trade shields and do something, but... Yeah, this person, I, I think these are like triple water teams also that I'm seeing when they're running these like fl water flyers. So yeah, overall, it's kind of tough for my team to deal with. I'm going to just take the weather ball here because I know I can take it. And again, I'm going to switch in Excadrill just to go for a farm. I know it's kind of crazy, but like these are my only real options here to try my best to do something. So I'm throwing a drill run and I think they might let it Okay, no, they shield. And yeah, there's nothing I'm really going to be able to do. I think they can just weather ball, which, you know, again, even if I was able to do anything, no, yeah, nothing. Pretty much because even they had the bass down back. There's nothing I could have done there at the end. <laughs> but yeah, get a Ferrothorn lead here, and I'm just going to stay in with a Galissapod and go for some Excisor. And I decided to try to catch a move, but I do bad timing and they generate the energy to switch out, preserve it for later, and they bring in their Polyrath. So my Excadrill versus, I mean, excuse me, I keep mixing up their names because their names are so similar. Escavalier, my Escavalier, you know, it's nice to get these drill runs off, but it's not going to be able to do a crazy amount of damage. But fortunately, I'm not too afraid of what Polyrath is going to throw in at me. So I'm just going to not shield and farm it down and keep my energy. And thankfully, I don't get the attack drops. Uh, the attack drop, excuse me, from Scald. Thrown Excessor directly into the Ferrothorn as it comes in. And yeah, I'm going to commit a shield and I have an Excessor ready already. So I'm going to throw it as well. So this is going to be kind of nice. So Ferrothorn's not going to enjoy that. Goodbye, Ferrothorn. And with Lantern here in the back, it's pretty much this game. They can't do anything because they have a shield. And my drill run is going to bring it down where a couple more mud shots will remove Lantern from the fight entirely. So G, G. And I think that's the last battle, if I'm not mistaken. So that is a 3-2 set, and if you've enjoyed these battles, definitely hit that like button. It does help my content a lot on the platform. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, the Sasquatch Squad's getting stronger each and every day. Have a good morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you're tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one. And if you'd like to watch more Go Battle League content from me, consider watching this video right here or this video right here.